Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to send out virtual bingo cards to players on myfreebingocards.com. So after you've chosen your bingo cards and customised them if you want to, you'll come to a screen like this. Choose the option that's best for you and then straight away you'll be taken to a screen which looks something like this. Uh, this is the screen for paid cards for 100 bingo cards or more. I'll show you the free one in a moment as well. Um, and here you've got three different ways to send out the links to your players. You can invite players via a single link where you send the same link to all players and then they access their bingo card using that single link. You can directly send out virtual bingo cards to your players by email or we also have an option to allow you to do this manually. I'll just talk you through each option quickly. I'll make extra videos on the first two methods to show you all the details. So if you're gonna send out a single link to all your players, just choose the number of bingo cards you want each player to receive. Choose whether you want them to enter their name or email address to claim their cards and then click create link. This makes a link that you can send out to all your players. They can all receive the same link and when they go to that link they can claim their bingo cards to play in your game. I'll show you how it looks. So if I follow this link, I'm a new player. I've been allocated two cards. I'll enter my name and click join game, play now, and straight away I've got one of my two bingo cards. I can click choose cards here to choose the bingo cards I want to play. I can play just one of them or both of them at a time. Now when players are on this page, they can play their bingo card directly in their browser just by clicking or tapping the screen to mark off the bingo card. Um, they can print their bingo cards. If you want your players to be able to print their bingo cards at home, um, they can choose which bingo, bingo cards they want to print and which size they want to print them. And then that will open in a new tab and bring up the print dialog for them to print their bingo cards in the size that they choose. And if you want to reuse bingo cards, players can easily reset their bingo cards to play a new game. So it's that simple players can access their bingo cards really quickly. When you come back to this page, once people have started following the link, if you refresh this page and scroll down, you'll start to see who the bingo cards have been allocated to. So I can see here that two bingo cards were allocated to Pete. Um, if you choose email, you can force players to identify themselves by email instead of name. Uh, there are reasons you might want to do that. I'll explain more in the advanced video. It's a very similar process. If, if you share this link, then players just need to enter their email address to join the game. And in that case, they will receive an email to access their bingo cards. So they'll have to go to their emails and they'll receive an invite that looks something like this, which has the link to take them through to their bingo cards. So that's how the single link system works. Inviting players by email is very straightforward as well. Just type in a list of email addresses. You can separate them by commas or spaces or new lines. Uh, you can just paste in a list of email addresses that you already have from a spreadsheet or something like that. Um, choose how many bingo cards you want per player and click send invites. In that case, players will receive an invite like the one I just showed you uh, in their email. And again, the bingo cards allocated will show up down here so you can see exactly which player has which card. Finally, there's the option to invite players manually. If you are familiar with mail merge, for example, then you can download a spreadsheet file of all of the bingo links uh, in CSV format, which you can then use to send out the bingo invites via email using mail merge. Um, you might wanna use this option if your company has a security policy where you're not allowed to share your employees uh, or your colleagues' email addresses with any third parties like us. In this case, you can send out the links yourself using Mail Merge, and we never have to see the email addresses. So that's the three options for paid bingo cards. I'll quickly show you how it works for free bingo cards too. So for free bingo cards, the system is very straightforward. Um, you have a single link that you can share with all your players, and they can get one bingo card with that link, and it's just as simple as that. So you share the same link with everyone, and they'll be allocated a random card from uh, a set of 30 cards. So there are 30 bingo cards with IDs 001 to 030, and everyone who visits that link will get a random card. 
from that selection. Uh, this does mean that players might get the same card. We can't guarantee that everyone will get a different card with the free system in the, in the way that we can guarantee that for the paid system. Um, if you want to try and make sure that everyone gets a different card, you can send out individual links. You have to do this manually. Um, so these are the individual links for the 30 different cards in this set of cards. So if you want to make sure that each of your 30 players gets a different card, you have to send out a different link to each player. So this will be for bingo card ID 1, for example. So that's the method for free bingo cards. Very quick, very easy. Hope you found this video useful.